Okay, so Unity are just busting out sort of info and updates about the engine. It's because they're at GDC. Let's just take a look at this trailer, which is their latest uh, sample game project. Where are we? The oasis where the Gigaia's powers were harnessed. The settlers, they left a long time ago. Why did they leave? The juice wasn't worth as much as it cost to harvest. Now it's nothing but ruins crawling with wildlife. There does appear to be more than meets the eye here. Great work getting the power back on. Thank you, kid. I didn't think we'd ever come back online since they turned the power off. I have no purpose if there are no settlers. You will be stunning once we get up there. If we get up there, there are a lot of dangerous things between us and the Gigaya. Almost like they're protecting it. An even better reason why we're gonna open it. Time to try something new. Okay, that looked amazing. Um, it's really nice to see uh, the URP getting a bit of uh, love after the kind of HDRP stuff we saw um, in yesterday's video. But yeah, there's lots going on in this. I really like the stylized look. There's um, really nice sort of like distant atmospherics. Uh, the particle effects that we've got here are really nice. Lots of foliage and stuff. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be a free demo project, which it's not available yet, but it will be available to download. Um, if we go over to the blog posts, we can see a bit more about this. So here's the kind of blog post uh, digging into this. Um, so again, it was displayed at GDC, which is currently ongoing. Um, Gigea is still in active development, but when it's done, it's going to be a free downloadable project. Um, and this is obviously following on from their other demos. So if we go to uh, unity.com demos, you can see that um, enemies, which was there was a video on that yesterday, um, and Gigaia, these two aren't actually downloadable yet, but all of the other projects are, so like Mega City, um, Wind Up, Boss Room, you can download these and play around with them in the editor. They're really good, great learning tools. Let's go back to Gigaia. So um, this is gonna be putting Unity to the test with internal productions. They're gonna release this game on Steam, so they've gone through kind of the whole pipeline to create a sort of a finished project, project? A finished product which can, you know, it's going to be available on Steam for people to play. It'll be free, um, but it's kind of going to showcase what Unity and URP can do. There's been quite a lot of discourse about um, specifically enemies, the URP one, and um, just saying like they keep releasing these really nice looking tech demos, but it doesn't seem like Unity are going through the kind of production pipeline from start to finish. And there was kind of calls for them, you know, saying that they, they should make a game um, and develop a game in-house. And it looks like, you know, that's being answered by this. Um, so we saw the trailer there at the start. Uh, it looks it looks amazing. You kind of see a lot of what's going on here in these um, in these gifts they've got. And this is kind of what I'm talking about, the full product life cycle. So like past demo projects, it'll be eventually be free to download and experiment with. Uh, it's also going to be the first ever Unity demo to go through the full cycle and release on Steam. And like I said, it's using URP to create stylized graphics. And this is what I really like. So... Um, they were deciding which pipeline to use. They went for URP, uh, and it's been developed to showcase how URP can be used to create a stylized and unique visual experience um, that works across a wide range of platforms. So I'm hoping like from them doing this, they'll feed back to the engine team, and then they'll be able to kind of make improvements to URP going forward. And this is something else that, aside from all of the kind of the open world and digging into how it looks and how it's all set up, um, there's gonna be a good platform character controller available as part of the project. Outfitted with a jetpack and an arm blaster, they're called Wandu, um, and they've really worked on making it feel responsive. And we can see in this GIF here, like it just looks quite fun to just run around in the world. And what's great is when we get access to the project, we're going to be able to use the character controller in other projects, dig into how it works, kind of recreate it. Um, and this is highlighting scriptable objects, rigid body physics, and animation to kind of get that platforming experience. So I'm really excited about this. 
Um, and the character looks really cool as well. I really like the design um, on the character. But yeah, what do you think? Are you excited about this? Um, even if, you know, if you don't want to develop this style of game, it just kind of looks fun to play, um, especially because they're releasing it on Steam. It's going to be a free download. It's going to be just really interesting to kind of dig into it, I think. Um, as soon as I know more, I will, of course, share more. As soon as we get access to the demo, I want to do kind of a good feature review of it and like just explore around in the demo. I think that'd be a really interesting thing to do. And if you want to head over to the demos page, you can sign up for updates here direct from Unity. So you'll know just as soon as it goes out and anything else is posted about it as well. So hopefully it won't go the way of their open source project, uh, Chop Chop, which seems to just be kind of meandering along. Uh, this seems quite positive and I'm really looking forward to kind of where it goes. Um, so yeah, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to see more of these uh, videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.